Welcome to our overview of marker tracks. Let's start by creating a marker track. Right click, choose Add Marker Track. Now let's create two markers at the beginning and end of these audio events. Select the events, press the letter P on your keyboard. Cubase will position the left locator at the beginning of the first event and the right locator at the end of the second event. Using the numbers 1 and 2 on your keyboard, you can jump between the left and right locators. Press the Add Marker button to jump to the right locator, and then press Add Marker again. You can create markers during playback or recording as well. Very convenient. You can also find your desirable position, hold the shift key down, choose the marker number you want to assign this position to from the marker section of the transport panel, or use the draw tool. Select project. Markers. The Markers window will open. Right-click, always on top. Press the Add Marker button, and Cubase will add a marker at your current cursor position. You can use this button to add markers during recording or playback as well. Now let's jump between markers. You can use the Inspector window, the Markers window, or the Markers section of the Transport panel. And that lets you jump between the first 15 markers. You can also use the numeric key on the right portion of your keyboard to jump between markers 3 to 9. Remember, markers 1 and 2 are assigned to your left and right locators. You can also hold your shift key and use the top numerical portion of your keyboard. Names can be assigned to each marker as well. Select the marker, type the name you want in the info line under the Name section, or in the Inspector, or in the Markers window. You can type a new marker position in the Position column. Be sure to press Enter. The Move button works in this way. Select the marker you want to move, position the cursor, and press the Move button. Another type of marker is a cycle marker. Cycle markers are used to divide the beginning and end points of the segments in the project. Position the left and right locators, and press the Add Cycle Marker button. Now, if you double click inside the cycle marker area between the start and end point of the cycle, the marker becomes selected. To zoom on the cycle marker, use the zoom menu here. You can drag the cycle marker and reposition its beginning and end point. Using the Range Selection tool, you can make a range selection between markers. 
And this concludes our overview of marker tracks.